Hi guys, this is Kim from Kim's Vintage Obsessions and today we're here at um, Bedford Street Antiques in Carlisle. I'm really excited today because this store is one of my favorites. It's the place where I got the best deals. Um, my orange bowls, got a stack of 10 of them for $10. I got uh, my entire blue set here and my red set um, for the plateware and the bowls and they were all affordable. I think it came down to probably a dollar a dish so you can't beat that. Um, today we're just looking for some odds and ends. My collection is very well built up now. I'm just looking for unique pieces that I don't have. Maybe some glass serving ware um, for serving the food itself like uh, spoons and forks and things and um, looking for maybe some brooches or jewelry just pretty things pretty adornments but yeah i'm excited i'm here with my dad today hello and yeah we'll get to it look at this brooch here it's huge this booth does have um, really expensive fine jewelry mixed in with costume jewelry, so it's fun to look kind of like a treasure hunt or an I spy. You can get some really, really cool special stuff. Like for instance, this brooch here. That's from the 20s. Oh, it's this brooch is really pretty. I love butterflies. Oh, here's a micro mosaic. That's made from individual tiles that are laid down and enameled together. It takes a lot of skill to do that by hand. There's some pretty little cranberry glass pieces. Hess trucks. Oh my gosh, my brother and I used to play with Hess trucks as kids. We had one with a helicopter and one with a tractor. Those are great toys. I loved having those. The 1920s authentic flapper dress as you can see here it's $125 but wow I can't believe that's an, a real dress from the 20s let me see if I can get there we go how beautiful is that booth where I scored my 1937 Caribbean wave punch bowl and also my fire king custard cups I always love to come in here and see what changed this vendor in particular always keeps up with their stuff. Their booth is always changing. They always have new things and it's organized nicely. I love to see that when people are passionate about collecting stuff for their, their booth in order to sell things. Um, but you can see some really beautiful pieces. Here's a Jeanette um, dish that would sit on top of a lady's dresser. And they have some bells, actually, they have some really beautiful bells. This one here, Carnival. Oh, it's Fenton, um, $30. And they have beautiful candlesticks too. They have these ones for 10. Going down here, they have what looks like some older Carnival. You can tell by the finish on it. And this one's green bottom. I don't see a lot of that personally. Um, here's another green piece of Carnival. 15 and look at this little lobster it's a dish it's a lobster on a piece of lettuce isn't that cool and here we have purple bottom carnival for 24 but such a pretty compote I love carnival glass and a lot of times the glass under it is what makes the piece because this is, has a greenish tint purple tint completely created by the color underneath the glass Down here we have what looks like an older flute. I see so many old musical instruments in places like this and it just reminds me how I need to, you know, brush the dust off my clarinet and get back into playing. I really enjoyed playing while I did it, but I think I just stopped playing in ninth grade and I just haven't touched it since, which is sad because I lost all those skills that I had. As you can see back here, we point to it. That brooch, those are called sugar loaf cabochons because the shape of them is what, how sugar used to come was in a rounded off loaf type shape. And this ring caught my eye. I think it's a men's ruby ring in 10 karat gold. Absolutely stunning. I do really love rubies 
and just bright colored gems in general. But this is another one of those treasure hunt cabinets because you can just look in here probably for an hour and still not see everything. Some of it is very valuable. Some of it is costume jewelry. This is beautiful here. Cameo bracelet. I do love cameos, especially ones that are hand carved because it's literally wearable art. More on things from the 1920s. Look at this photograph. It was taken in Carlisle. How cool is that? You can see the fashion. That's just a really cool photo. Um, down here we have what looks like a dress clip. Dress clips are cool because sometimes they usually came in a set of two and you would clip them on your dresses or you could clip them together and they become a brooch. Very popular in the 30s and 40s. We have more costume jewelry down here. I actually do have this brooch. I love to wear it on a green sweater. I think green and gold goes together so perfectly. And over here we have some marigold glass. I actually have one of these. It is one of my favorite pieces. It somehow always steals the show no matter how I set my table. And this beautiful spiral bowl to match. So I got pretty excited about these. These are glass swizzle sticks. And as you guys know, I'm on the hunt for a set of colorful ones. And I just love these ones because they hook over the edge of the glass instead of um, like when you go to drink from it, instead of it like hitting your face or anything like that, it just hooks right on there. Um, unfortunately, I can't see the price. It is flipped over there. But I just wanted to point out some of the other things in this booth. Look how pretty this image is here, just with the fish. And you have Vaseline glass, which does have uranium in it. And down here, there's a very beautiful hand beaded clutch. I love everything from the 1920s. I just love the idea of the Roaring Twenties and the opulence of it. And I understand that the way it's portrayed today with the short skirts and the, the glitter and everything isn't exactly how it was back then, but I do truly love the 1920s. And look how cute this little flower is, just this little glass flower with a message that says you're special. So hopefully somebody buys that for someone special someday. That would just make a cute little gift. This is brooch heaven here. Oh, this one is so pretty. Peacock feather enamel. This one looks like oyster shell. Um, the price of the ones in here range, looks like from $3 to $5, this pretty one here. Let's see if I can, $8. So not bad. I've seen brooches go for quite a lot, depending on where you're shopping at. Um, here's some more here. Circle brooches. And oh, look at this little enamel fish. I love ones that are figural. Little guy's $5. And then another, look at this violin, another figural pin. If you played violin, how pretty would that be when you go to a concert? And here is costume bead necklace galore. Every color and shape you can imagine. I did actually get um, a eight foot strand of pearls from this exact wreck for my 1920s flapper girl costume last year. But look how pretty, hand beating. Yeah, I could spend literally forever going through this one booth in particular. Ooh, down here we have, looks like a big chunky costume jewelry necklace, this black, white, and clear. We have a lot of political pins here. State treasurers and senators, attorney generals. Looks like we have a set of Pyrex things, nesting bowls back there. Look at these, kind of hidden down here. We have some uranium glass plates. Look at how beautiful this pattern is. I can't say I've ever seen it before. Um, $25 for the stack of five plates. I love this spiral pattern. A 
Over here we have some paperweights. Little knickknacks and gadgets. More costume jewelry over here. Brooches. It's always interesting to see what people put behind the locked cabinets. This looks like hotel so soaps. Oh, look at that. Somebody collected. Are those not sure what this is? It looks like they're collected from different hotels and motels. I'm thinking they're matches or soaps. So that's something cool that I haven't seen before. Looks like cities all over. There's one in Oklahoma, one in New Mexico, among others. Beautiful perfume uh, set for your nightstand or your dresser. Got my eye. It is Vaseline glass. It's $125, but it is a tea berry glass display. So if you'd go to the store and buy some tea berry gum, I don't know if anyone's ever tried it. You can get it, I think, at Cracker Barrel now and places like that that sell old fashioned candy. But isn't that just the neatest one? How cute these little buttons are. I have bought um, antique buttons before. Oh, and look at the yellow ones. All these buttons, I think they're going for $1.50. I might actually get these. I like to use buttons, um, so I crochet, and I like to use antique buttons to um, give it a little bit of flair, or to give them, sometimes I make little stuffed animals, so the pinks could make good rosy cheeks, or a button nose. These are so pretty. Here we have a pretty shelf of some depression glass. Looks like we have yellow teacup sherbets. We have a grill plate back there. When you see a division in a depression glass plate, that means it's a grill plate. Grill plates were basically used for picnics, like if you'd go outside have a hamburger and some coleslaw or something on the side. Um, we have little bonbon trays, which have the curved up sides. A little collection of bowls. They don't, they're not all the same, but somehow they do all match. So they're very pretty too. Looks like we have more depression glass. Look at this, I do not see many of these. Um, for $55, makes sense why I don't see many of these. They must be rare. It is a Kellogg's measuring cup. So this is a perfect example of depression glass. You can see that big bubble there. This is probably something that would come in um, in your cereal box. So that is a really cool piece of history there. We have more sherbets, uranium glass. We have pretty baby pink. Oh, down there we have cream soup bowls. I think the difference in bowls is really interesting. Cream soups have little handles on the side. Normal soup bowls do not. And then we have some clear down at the bottom. Over here, it looks like we have a lot of forest green. I actually do have this in a um, teacup and saucer set. But this looks like, here's the punch bowl. It has six cups with it. Look how beautiful that is on, on the white tabletop. The green in the sunlight shines so, so pretty. We have some more china pieces. We have some ceramic ware down here. How pretty is this? Some pastel colors as well. This whole cabinet just looks like it's right out of the 50s. Here we have an abundance of avocado green glass. So it's that neutral shade of green, not as bright as the forest green or the emerald green. Um, this color is very popular in the 60s and 70s along with that amber color. Uh, neutral tones, you can really, if you take the time to look at the trends of what colors were popular when, it's a very helpful tool when it comes to dating pieces. Baby pink, we have the Miss America classic 1930s but when you see things that are more of a purpley pink you know that that's from the 80s because that's the color that was in style back then oh look at this I have a little biscuit jar carnival glass cute little egg display and chickens 
That's another thing I see so much of in antique stores is just so many chickens. How cool is this? An umbrella to be an umbrella holder. I would totally have something like that at my house to drop off wet umbrellas at the door. It has to be just about the prettiest vase I've ever seen. The sun is shining right through that red color and you can see the etched out pattern on it. I love whenever vendors have a window and they can put their glass in it and you can just, it looks like stained glass. It is so pretty. Something that I haven't seen and that's amethyst cut to clear. This is really heavy lead crystal flashed with amethyst glass. I have never seen this color. I've seen cobalt, I've seen ruby, I've seen um, black. I have not seen that color though. That's a really cool find. This little back room here has an overabundance of porcelain and fine china. We can, my dad and I come back here every time, but we can never seem to find anything that matches my glassware set in this room. But I do like to come just to look because everything matches and it is so beautiful. Look at this china closet with the stained glass. It's so pretty. What we have here. Massive Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. Ah, ah, there he is in all his glory. So, uh, here we have yet another cranberry server spoon. Looks like it's on sale for $5, but it comes with the box. It is a silver plated Cape Cod cranberry server. My family doesn't personally eat the stuff out of the can. We make some homemade, kind of like a cranberry relish. So, hello! But I just think it's hilarious how there is a type of silverware for literally everything. And look what was found a Mr. Peanut stuffed animal. We need a moment with this. Dad, get in here. <laughs> Arguably the prettiest piece of carnival glass. Look at that color. It has red glass. We'll take it over into the light. Look at that. It is $28.50. Unfortunately, I don't have any need for another serving bowl like this. But I love red carnival glass. It is so this pretty. Is something interesting. It's a little, it's not glassware, but this is an interesting way that you can display flowers. So the way this is done is you take this and you put it in a dish or something and you submerge it with water and you take the stems of your flowers and you actually stab them down onto the little pins and it creates a beautiful flower display. So I know we um, sometimes show flower frogs which sit down in vases, but that is just something interesting that I learned off of TikTok. Here, can you guys see this? This is a set of six salt and it comes with the little salt shovels. So you don't need to use your fingers to pinch it. You can grab one of those little shovels down there and shovel salt onto your food. I would totally get this if there were eight of them. But there is only six, which is really sad. But I love those cute little shovels. We have more beaded bags and costume jewelry. Look at this here. The brooch and the beaded bag match. And down here too. Oh, look at that. The black and the gold. That is absolutely beautiful. So it's time for us to do our haul of what we got. Unfortunately, we did not find any glass that I needed or thought was a showstopper that I had to get. But I did get these really cute buttons, as you can see here. Pink, orange, and yellow. I like to make little crochet animals, as I mentioned earlier. So I'll have to post some pictures whenever I do get to use these. Um, but I really like old buttons. You can see the packaging. These were 39 cents a piece. And I know now if you go to Joanne Fabrics, you're gonna pay at least a few dollars to get buttons like these. So anyways, um, it was nice to go out antiquing again. It's been a bit. And um, thank you for all my new subscribers. I'm finally over 200, so that's a really exciting milestone. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who supports my channel and watches my videos. And I really enjoyed going out today and getting some footage. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week. This was Kim from Kim's Vintage Obsessions, and I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.